I really enjoyed shadowing. It was a great experience. I got to read tons more and it was really fun. I thought the mix was really good. Like it's not every day you see Irish books and then the chance to read like kids books. Like I have a sister who's three so I saw these books and then we bought them for her and she really enjoyed them so I thought it was really good. It's a good thing to try and get your mind working so that you know what you liked about a book and what you kind of didn't like. Uh, this was my first time shadowing but I think I'd do it again. Yeah, it was really fun to like see all the different authors and read different stories because they're all so different. Yeah, and all, they were all by Irish authors, so it was promoting Irish authors as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Like, it probably seems like it's kind of for like young children, but it's really good for like older children too. I really enjoyed the book because even though it might be set for younger children, it gets straight to a point and it makes you happy. I really liked the book even though it was for children, it was still good and the storyline was great and the pictures in the book were really like cute kind of, <laughs> they were nice. And for Once Upon Alphabet we all got a letter and from the story from the book we all had to design like a circle to do with the story. For Once Upon an Alphabet we did loads of activities and uh, one of these activities where we each got a letter and we had to come up with a sentence and draw a picture. My favourite letter is probably Cup in the Cupboard because like, I really liked that story and it was really like funny. My favourite letter is prob probably N because I liked the way it made you like wait until the next letter until you found out what it was and our teacher made us like wait so it was like a cliffhanger until you found out. Like. I enjoyed the collection of stories because um, like it didn't take long to finish one so like say if you wanted to finish the book in a week you could say like okay I'll do I'll read one story tonight and then another story tomorrow night which was really good because I'm really busy. Um, I like the illustrations in Beyond the Stars because in the separate books they showed the text through pictures as well so it gave you a feeling of the book. So when we were reading Beyond the Stars, we came across a story called How to Help Your Granda. And our teacher gave us kind of like these A4 sheets with this on them. First of all, we had to try and figure out what the story was about. And then we were asked to see how the story ended. So we all just kind of like figured out or tried to figure it out how the story we think will end. I really enjoyed the fact that it's a trilingual book. I didn't expect that, so I went in expecting a fully Irish book, and when I saw English and Japanese appearing sort of side by side interchangeably, it was quite different to say the least, but I really enjoyed it because I'm actually learning Japanese myself. Boku wa gaitsuki desu. The illustrations were really um, understated, but they were very um, effective at what they were trying to do. Uh, down at the bottom of each page, you see a little cherry blossom, for example. Thoshe fui isa far more booked, ke faolim kuna sescrive haikus off fila achil. It jumped right in and into it, into the storyline, and I, I thought that I maybe skipped a couple of pages or I was starting from the middle of, of the book by mistake. I really enjoyed the book because um, it was very interesting and the characters were kind of believable. I really enjoyed the book because I liked the tone used. It was really fluent and friendly and just really easy to read. I really liked it because there was stuff I wasn't expecting to happen and uh, it just, I thought the author wrote it really well. So I was really happy that there was an Irish book in the collection because um, generally you wouldn't see them that much. Um, the only place I really see them would be in an Irish area or school. I like the way that people are writing them for people to read um, so they can extend their Irish and the Irish language, like it's a really great description and the description in the book was very well done and I felt like I was there and I'm just really happy that um, there people are writing Irish books for the people that actually can um, enjoy them. Poem Perfect is about a girl called Poem Woes who gets her mum's diaries after her mum is tragically killed and she's just looking through them and finding out more about her mum and dad's relationship. I really, really enjoyed it because you get all of her woes, but you also get all of her random bursts of just funniness um, and all the random things she just thinks of. Well, the main characters in When Miss Dark Bites would be um, Dylan Mint, who has turrets, and basically he thinks that he's going to die, 
yeah, I enjoyed it, even though like most of the stuff in it is not appropriate for like younger readers. It still is very good. I like, I think that um that like even though there's still like swearing it in it, like that kind of helped make it unique from other, any other book. Yeah, well, I quite enjoyed reading it because, like, generally, society kind of puts pressure under girls. Like, it's generally a certain way to look and act, and that's kind of what's reflected in this book. Like, they have a certain way to act and look, and they can't go anything outside that. Like, even their weight is recorded and everything, and the girl in this book kind of breaks outside that, which is quite important, I think. So it's kind of good for young girls and just any girls in general. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it was a good reflection of the way girls feel today, the way that we're all kind of told to act and look and be. And I think it showed how we're forced into these stereotypes and that we're forced into just care about a limited number of things instead of a wide variety of things. Like we're forced to think about looks, weight, all those kind of things instead of broadening what we're allowed to think about. Mm -hmm.